Hey, this is Donnie, and I just wanted to answer an email I had. Uh, it's hard to type a lot of this out, and uh, I just thought I'd make a video and be much quicker. And maybe if some of you are having the same questions, uh, this is on my uh, Auto Body and Paint channel. Anyway, it says, Hi, Donnie. I just wanted to take a minute to touch bases with you real quick on my project like I said I would. So far, I have all the aftermarket body parts installed on the car. That was a chore to get fitted. I have located all the dents, dings in the body of the car and completed the body work on the passenger side as well as most of the front bumper. I've had to fabricate a fiberglass piece to support the front grille and now, I've, now I need to straighten it out, of the, out the back bumper and some filler on the driver's side. I am cur curious on your opinion on painting. Would it be best suited removing the doors and, re and rear hatch to paint? as I am doing complete color chains and need the paint and need paint and I need to paint the jams or take it off and spray the jams in the rest of the car. Just curious because I'm hoping to lay primer within the next week. Also on the spots that I didn't have to do body work and factory paint, it's a tri coat remains. What is my best way of prepping so I get great adhesion when I lay primer? Thanks for your input that uh, you can offer. And I have attached some pictures so that you can see how I'm doing. Please feel free to critique if you see anything in, the, in them that I am doing wrong. And this is actually a good question. This is from uh, Bradley Fisher, or Bradley Fish. Uh, what the question is, he's painting a car. Do I paint the jams at the same time or do I, do I take the doors off? And you know, really that can be done a different, couple of different ways. For example, if we got a new car and we have a fender for it and we order a new fender, we could paint the, the fender off the car, jam outside the whole thing, then put it on the car at a later time. Even if we needed to blend into the door and the hood, for example, you know, we could do that at separate times. Uh, I know high production shops may have a chance to get the fender in, but not the car. They'll go ahead and shoot that fender. Then later they get the car in and they'll do the blend, then put it all together. But on something like this, now especially a pearl job, a tri-coat, mentioned it was a tri-coat, you want to paint the entire outside at the same time. Um, one thing you could do is a uh, paint the, sh the, the shell of the car, you know, take the doors off and everything and paint the outside of the car, inside the door jams and all at the same time. But this may leave to where the outside of the doors are done at a different time. Tri-coat, you probably want to do it at the same time. I mean, I'd hate to paint doors at the, your doors or any parts at a separate time because if that goes on a little bit different, if uh, your gun's a little bit closer, or you know the mills are a little bit thicker it's not going to match you know it's going to be different so i would definitely do the jams at a separate time i'd take the doors off go ahead and do the jams on the doors the jams on the car and put it all together and then i would uh paint the car at one time just so you have a good color match now as far as prepping the car uh, you mentioned where you did not do body work what it takes to get good adhesion well, if the paint is in good condition, there's no problems, you know, all you have to do is sand that with four to 600. Um, I generally use 500 DA, but it can be uh, dry DA, or you can also use wet or dry sandpaper. But anywhere between four and six is your final uh, sand grit ranges. And uh, so if you have that sanded and you, you've sanded all the glossy spots where you can't see glossy spots on it, it's nice and dull, you'll get good adhesion. I like to use primer sealer. Uh, primer sealer aids in adhesion and it also helps with color hiding. So if you had bodywork areas and the primer is a different color, this will help make it all the same color before you start put, applying your paint. And especially with the tri-coat because the tri-coat's going to, uh, you know, that, that mid-coat is somewhat translucent. So anyway, sand it with a uh, four to six hundred and uh, you should be good to go. I would do the jams separate from the outside of the car. Do the entire outside at the same time. Anyway, uh, 
I hope that helps answer your question. If not, shoot me another email or reply, reply to this video and I'll try to get that answered for you. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer. Talk to you next time.